Displaying popular posts in your articles can do things like increase traffic on your website, keeps visitors on your site longer, and also adds a bit of social proof to your website. So in this video, I'll walk you through how to add popular posts by views on your WordPress website. And we'll cover two different methods, one with a plugin, one without, so you can pick the one that works best for you. Hey there, I'm Christina with WP Beginner, where we teach all about WordPress so you can grow your website and reach your audience. If you find value in this video, give it a like. It really does help out. And all the links that I talk about, you can find them in the description below. So let's dive in. So the first thing we want to do is head over to our WordPress dashboard. And from here, we want to install a plugin. The plugin we're going to be using for the plugin version is by installing Monster Insights. You can get started with the free version to see how Monster Insights works for your website. But to get the popular posts add-on for your website, you'll want to use the paid plugin. So we can head over to Monster Insights and if you don't already have it, you can use promo code WPBVIP and you'll get the best discount on Monster Insights. Once you create an account and you log in, you can go to Downloads. And from here, you want to download the Monster Insights Pro. While we're here, let's go ahead and also copy the license key. And then we can head back over to our WordPress dashboard. We'll go to Plugins, Add New. And if you have the plugin down here, you can simply click on upload the plugin and you can left click drag it or you can also click choose file to find it. Let's go ahead and click install now and then you also want to make sure you stick around to activate the plugin as well. Great. Once it's activated, we want to come to the left and find insights and we want to go to settings to set everything up. And the cool thing about Monster Insights is it connects your site with Google Analytics. So you can see just how your website is doing with traffic, bounce rate, scroll, depth and so much more all from your WordPress dashboard. But you go to settings in general, just paste your license key here and you'll see that it's verifying. And once it's verified, you can connect Monster Insights to your Google Analytics account. If you don't have Google Analytics set up, then make sure you watch this video where I walk you through how to set up Google Analytics for your website. We just need to allow it and then you want to if you only have one website it'll be only one that shows up if you have multiples then you want to go through and find your website we'll complete the connection great and once it's all connected then i'll show you a couple of things first you can see the reports section if you've had google analytics set up then you'll see reports like your sessions your page views scrolling down you can see your bounce rate the average view duration or the average session duration device breakdown and so much more then over on the left, you also see something called popular posts. This is where we can set up our popular posts for internal linking. Once we're here, we want to go to popular posts widget. And from here, you can check the, choose the theme that you want to use. And you get a little bit of a preview down here once you're picking which one you want to show. Several different ones that you can choose from. You can even choose to have it narrow or a wide preview. The other cool thing is you can also scroll down and change a lot of other design ideas from here. You can choose what kind of layout options you want and more. Once you go through all of the settings that you want to do, you want to scroll all the way down to the embed options, and then you can choose how you want to embed these. The simplest way to do it is just by turning on the automatic placement and in enabling that, then it'll include popular post widget after the last paragraph of any and all of the posts that match the behavior settings. Once you're done with all of that, you just want to scroll up and click save changes and, and now it'll be ready for your site. And you can also customize it even more by just going in and specifying where you want this in your site. So you have more control over where you want these to go. And to show you what I mean, I'll just edit a post. We'll go into edit, choose where you want it to go, find a new line where you want it to go. And you'll look for the plus sign either here or up at the top to pull up where you can search for the block. For this one, we want to search for popular posts. So we'll click on this one. And just like with in the settings page, you can choose how you want this to look, the layout that you want, how many posts you want to show, if you want to display the author, the date, the comments and everything like that. So you have a little bit more control over exactly where you want it to show up. And now when I go to the website and look through it, I see this one is showing because I don't have as many posts on here. It's only showing one. You also can scroll down and you can see the others here as well. Now, method one is the easiest one that you can do. If you want to set something up without a plugin, then you'll want to set something up using code. So I'm going to direct you to our article so you can actually see and copy the code to your website. 
You just go through, read the portion of the article where it tells you what to add and where to add it. And then you can set this up without using a plugin. And now if you're wanting to make your website go a little bit faster, then make sure you watch this video next as I walk you through how to set up your site for Core Web Vitals. And I'll see you over there.